here it is another beautiful morning on the road we're at monahan sand hill state park ready to roll out and head to san angelo state park we are tired of the sand we're gonna bug out <laughs> at San Angelo State Park. And I gotta say, this is probably the most expensive, spacious campsite we have had <laughs> this whole journey. Site number 26, pretty level. You don't have to have a step ladder to get in the door. They've just recently remodeled the facility, the, the connections here. As you can see, we've got a brand new power box and it is 30 and 50 amp water. No sewer, that's all right. They've got a dump station. They've got a fire ring, a barbecue grill, covered pork concrete table. Wow. No BB, he's tired of riding in the car, so he just he just laying, chilling. I'm gonna eat a bite of lunch, and then I'm gonna go do some scooter tours. <laughs> out here at San Angelo State Park. Now this is a big park. I don't, I don't even know if I have enough battery to do this whole park. All right, so I jumped in the car. I'm waiting on the scooter to charge. Um, so I got in the car. I, I, and it's probably a good thing I decided to do this because anyway, I drove over to one of the primitive areas and it's a good thing I decided to drive over here because the scooter would not have made it this far. Um, I could have made it over here, but I would not have made it back. So this is primitive camping at San Angelo State Park. Primitive camping, San Angelo State Park. Man, it's been a long two weeks. San Angelo State Park It's big. This is what it is all about if you're primitive camping out here. I don't know if uh, there's any fish in that water because there's not a whole lot of that water. So, not exactly a FPV scooter tour, but I'm going to go out and knock out a couple more loops while I'm cruising around in the car. There's also, here at San Angelo State Park, a herd of bison and longhorn cattle in here. We'll see if we can get a look at them. So here we go, we got some bison. Bison are aggressive.
That would be bison right there. They're not real bright, but they will show sure mess you up. Bison kill more people in Yellowstone Park than anything else. This is a state of Texas longhorn exhibit herd. And they're, they're back there in the mesquite bush. They're not too bright and can be kind of defensive too. So we're not going to hop the fence and go play with the longhorn cows. Not a good idea. Here at San Angelo State Park, they actually have cabins that you can rent. If you don't have an RV and you want to come out here and see the bison and the longhorn herd, well, all you got to do is reserve a cabin. All right, so this is the Isabel Harriet multi-use area, the San Angelo State Park. And it looks pretty much the same as the rest of the San Angelo State Park. There's a whole lot of road out here. So if you're a bicyclist, it'd be a great place to come and ride a bicycle. All right, so this is the tables. These are the tables that I've been looking at from where we're set up. You can see I'm pointed right at where we have our rig parked. And there's no doubt in my mind that there should be water between us, between here and there. There is none. So this is primitive camping. And as you can see, there's lots of opportunity for primitive camping. Something just caught my eye. Right there, there's three stripes. That's actually a boat ramp, a big boat ramp. No water. We'll drop over here, let you see the boat ramp. But you can tell by looking at the at the lake out there that it's it's low. I don't know where normal level would be, but I think it's more than what they have. Out there on the overflow, I would think that that big box looking thing at the bottom would be covered in water. Okay, so there's the boat ramp. Good luck launching a boat there. All right, hanging out here at San Angelo State Park. The last two weeks on this journey uh, has been an experience. And it's been a first time experience with the Triad 750, my brand new toy. My brand new toy ha has some issues. One of those uh, it was, it was the charging system. And it, you know, I'm not gonna go into details uh, because there's, there's two different ways to charge the battery. And the easy one doesn't work and I didn't discover this until I'd started on this journey uh, so I have been doing the the labor-intensive one which requires me to open her up plug the battery directly into the charger uh, which got a scoot so what, what you gonna do so anyway as soon as I got back into the cell grid which is where I am now I'm back today officially on the cellular grid so I can actually have conversations without uh, worrying about the call going away. I placed a call to Triad to start the process. We got to get this fixed. We got a, got a couple issues going here. There's a couple things that are not working or working the way they're supposed to or expected to work. Uh, There's actually three items. So I called to get the process started, not expecting anything to occur today. Man, I just got a call, it's five o'clock my time, which means it's six o'clock their time. And and they took the, they, they noticed that I was having issues and that I'm on the road and, and it, set up out here in San Angelo State Park, which is not quite the boonies, but for me, pretty well is, because I, I all I got with me right now is basic toolkit. So anyway, they called and they said, okay, we'll have everything in place so that when you land at home base on Tuesday, we'll be able to get this stuff sorted out quickly. 
We'll send a technician if we need to. Speaks volume. But anyway, just wanted to, just wanted to say, hey, appreciate you guys calling me. This time on Black Friday of all days. We're set up out here at San Angelo State Park. Whipping up some supper. I got a ribeye steak cooking. Potatoes on the gas grill. But most important, man, check out that sunset. All right, I, I just have to say, West Texas sunsets are stunning. Yeah, you got the dust all over the inside of your vehicle, dust everywhere, making you sneeze, making your nose run, making your eyes itch. The dust is everywhere, but man, sunsets are rocking. All right, so if I had to choose between rocking sunsets and all of the other stuff, the other stuff weighs outweighs the the awesome sunsets 
I'd much rather have less crap coming out of my eyes, my nose not being so problematic, and dust coating everything, the taste of dust, the smell of dust. But it sure makes a great sunset. Man. San Angelo State Park. No water in the lake. Lots of dust on the sunset. We're gonna go eat supper. Well, good morning, all you vagabobs. Sit up out here. San Angelo State Park. Sun's coming up. We're packing up, getting ready to head on down the road to the next park, the final destination on our two week journey. We'll be headed to Dinosaur Valley State Park, which is a really interesting place to visit if you're into dinosaur footprints. So stay, with, stay tuned, follow us as we journey from San Angelo State Park over to Dinosaur Valley and see what we can see.